Hey dolls! So, as some of you may know, especially if you were searching for these videos, uh, Tamagotchi has made a return. They made their comeback because of the 20th anniversary. The only two places that I know that carry this are Target and Walmart. If you know of other places, feel free to leave them in the comments section below to help other people out. But if you guys aren't familiar, Tamagotchi is a little virtual pet toy that they used to have many, 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 many years ago. And I had one of these growing up, which I ended up getting rid of or selling at a garage sale or something. And I also had Giga Pets. I was more of a Giga Pet user than a Tamagotchi user, but I am still a fan of both to this day. Just to give you guys an idea, here's a little bit more of an older Tamagotchi. I don't think this is one of the originals. Uh, this one says 2004. Um, so it is a little bit more of a recent one, but it's still kind of old. This is the Tamagotchi Connection. Someone actually sent this to me in a Prezi mail a while back. This is more of what the originals kind of looked like. So already you guys can see the size difference is very, very drastic. The new ones are about a third of the size of the traditional ones. So this was $15. I believe it was $14.99. And it just comes on a little keychain like that. Supposedly the batteries are already included. And here's what the back says. It even says it's back and smaller with simple play. And it says right here that the same characters are here, but there is a surprise character as well. And here are all of the new designs. So you can see I got the blue one with the pink accents and numbers all over it. So comparing the new to the old before I even take it out of the packaging, just looking at the visual concepts. Uh, I prefer the older style so much better, uh, mainly because it's bigger. You have more of a chance of holding on to it easier and being able to see what's actually on the screen, whereas this one is super compact and for some people who might have a harder time seeing smaller things, this could be a little bit of an issue. Also, I do want to mention the type of keychain. I prefer these types of keychains. However, you also have to remember that these toys are targeted towards children 8 plus. So, 8 year olds may have a little bit harder time operating keychains like this, like opening them up, and maybe they don't have strong enough fingers, or maybe their fingernails aren't long enough to, to work it properly. So, I could see why they wanted to give it an updated look and feel with this type of keychain. You guys have probably seen and used one of these types of keychains before, as well as one of these. So, basically, those are the two visual things that I have found. Also, you have to remember that these are made for children, and children tend to lose things very, very easily. So, why would you want to give them a keychain that is a lot more flimsy so that they can lose it a lot easier? And the fact that it is definitely much smaller than before, there is more chance that it could get lost or even stolen. <laughs> I know that sounds weird to have to think about someone stealing a Tamagotchi toy, but it's very possible. They are highly sought after these days. But as I said before, this was about $15, and when you compare it, is this really worth the $15 if it operates the exact same way as the vintage style ones? I'm not 100% sure. I guess we're just going to open this and find out what all the hype is about and see if it is the same or what. It does have kind of the same scenarios on the front. You hatch it, you feed it, you clean up its poop, uh, etc. But yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to dive on into this. Here are the in little instructions. Let's go ahead and open it up. Um, you can set the clock, which is great. Uh, that's another feature that this one right here had. Um, sound. You can put your sound on or off, which is another amazing feature. It does have a replaceable battery, so if it dies, you can just get a new battery and keep playing. I'm not sure if the character resets um, if the battery dies or not. If you know anything about that with the new version, go ahead and let me know in the comments. But here it shows the character growth. If you can see this right here, it says it starts out as an egg, 
and then a baby chi and then an adult chi and then a rare character of some sort so here are all the little things that you can do feed it a snack <laughs> it literally just says poop <laughs> when tamagotchi character makes poop push the a button to clean it up <laughs> Uh, then it says light, when it's sick, to call it, feed it, all that fun stuff. I'm not going to go through and do a full playthrough, quote unquote, with it. But I'm going to go ahead and open it on up and see just kind of the basic initial setup of everything. So here is what it looks like. And there is this little tab right in here that you just remove. And it's alive! It's alive! There's my little egg in there. As you can see, it kind of bouncing around. And I don't know which buttons I'm supposed to push, but I'm just going to push the center one. And this is how you set your clock, so I'll go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I just set the clock to 6.23 p.m. And there we go. So now it shows it. Sorry for the glare, but you can see right there. 6.23 p.m. and then I believe if you click the center button it will show your little egg dude again. So, um, oh, he's wheeling around in there. I'm sorry for this glare. Oh, is he hatching? <gasps> it just hatched! Yay! It's a little baby now. How cute my little baby egg dude. He's all bouncing around and everything. Very cute. Am I feeding him? Okay, so we're gonna press A. And... This is candy, so I'm feeding it candy right now. <laughs> okay. And this one is playing, or nope, that's eating also. I think that's the food one. All right, and how do I play a game? Let's see. I don't know if there is an option to play with it. I thought there would maybe be like some little mini games or something in it. I don't remember uh, if that was a thing for the original Tamagotchis or if that was Giga Pets that I'm thinking of where you could do like little games with them too. Uh, but yeah, pretty much it's just like a pet. You just feed it and then you can kind of just like set this down and leave it alone. And when the Tamagotchi pet needs you or wants you or needs anything, it will call. So it will make a noise, like this little thing will beep and stuff to get your attention to feed it or take care of it or clean clean up its poop or whatever. So it says, when the Tamagotchi character calls, please press the A button and take care of it. Uh, you do not, If you do not notice the call, you can find out if you need to take care of it by pushing the C button. After taking care of it, the C button cannot be operated until the next call. So I believe that these buttons are A, B, and C. So I'm going to click C. Oh, and it's not operating. So my little dude is very happy and does not need my services at this time. <laughs> Just real quick, I'll tell you guys the A button is for selecting and taking care of your Tamagotchi. The B button is for deciding which choice to pick. So you guys saw like when I clicked A, it brought up these options. And the B one selects which one it is. While the A one, you can kind of select up or down. Um, so there you can see like if I click A, it kind of, can you see this? Is this difficult? Sorry. It kind of bounces back and forth and then you click B to select whatever it is if you want that. And then the C button is to cancel or check the condition of your Tamagotchi pet. So like I said, if it's calling for you, you can just click the C button. And right now I could click the C button to cancel out of that menu. So that's pretty much the basics of it. And then you just set it down or put it on your bag or whatever and wait for it to scream in the middle of the night and wake you up out of pure terror and tend to it. Make sure you feed it and clean up after it and go back to sleep until it screams at you again. I will tell you guys uh, how to um, do the sound on and off. It says right here, press and hold C button and press a button when you see Tamagotchi character in the screen. You cannot change sound if you need to take care of the Tamagotchi character. Uh, please be careful. If you set off for sound, you will not hear the Tamagotchi character's warning or calling sounds. So, always keep that in mind. You can have it on silent in case you're going somewhere and you don't want to have your little 
thing beeping like crazy and screaming and wanting attention, uh, you can give it a do not disturb button pretty much and it won't be vocal and obnoxious. But because you won't be able to hear its screams and cries and whines for attention, it could go uncared for and possibly die. Overall, this is the new 2017 Tamagotchi from Bandai. And yeah, basically all I have to say is that I miss the old style and I wish these ones came back in this traditional big design. But yeah, for now, this is tolerable, this is okay, it's more compact, but the style of keychain is a little... Mm, it's not as high quality in my opinion because I feel like this could come apart or break easier than something like this would. And for $15, you're pretty much paying for semi-decent quality, so I kind of regret that it's not like that. But yeah, overall, let me know what your guys' opinions are of the new Tamagotchi in the comments. And also let me know if you were a Tamagotchi player or a Gigapet player. And let me know in the comments down below uh, if you plan on getting the new Tamagotchi yourself. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope it was somewhat helpful for you guys. I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right.